Hey everyone, sorry I'm out of breath, out for a run. But you are looking at what is about the clearest and cleanest you will ever see the Ohio River. As we pan up here and look at the beautiful sus suspension bridge, the Roebling suspension bridge attaching Covington where I'm standing right now to downtown Cincinnati. Obviously I'm in Kentucky, that's Ohio. And uh, yeah, I wanted to highlight this river here and it's actually not the best of luck right now, probably over the screen. Over on the uh, Cincinnati side, it's actually much clearer, I think because of the way the sun is. But uh, this was the easiest and quickest way I could actually access, uh, basically stand in the water. So I wanted to catch this, but it is uh, more clear than what is being displayed here. But yeah, uh, this is the cleanest you'll ever see it. And typically this river is brown and it's typically brown from all of the clay uh, runoff uh, from uh, all of the earth into all of the tributaries that lead into the Ohio, basically the whole length of it from uh, north of here uh, up into Pittsburgh, I believe. But at any rate, yeah, so typically brown, uh, but it hasn't rained in 18 days and it's been very dry, uh, very low humidity. And uh, so it's really clear right now uh, because there basically has not been any runoff into the river. Um, and that's what's allowing it to be kind of the greenish look that you see right now. Well, I don't know if it's coming across, but uh, it's, it's green right now and it's typically just brown. Yeah, so it's pretty interesting that uh, rainfall really has that big of an impact on the way the river looks but uh, it's pretty cool looking right now and, and usually people say it's so so dirty but there's been plenty of studies to show that it's actually um, completely safe and nowhere near as dirty as it looks and nowhere near as dirty as people uh, would lead you to believe that it is but uh, either way pretty cool to see here uh, I just want to highlight that um, there's an inlet right here and that's actually called the Licking River. And that runs south down into um, Kentucky further. I don't know where that meets up with, uh, but that's actually a different city right there. That's called Newport. Uh, and there's a bridge that crosses them. So yeah, pretty interesting. A lot of history here on this river. Um, it gets such a bad rap, but it's really a beautiful area. And both, or actually all three cities, Cincinnati, Covington, and Newport have all done a great job in the past basically decade of cleaning up the banks and really just beautifying this area for great recreation, um, especially what Cincinnati's done right here and what they call Smail Park. Uh, it's just beautiful and it's gorgeous and there's a lot to do in there. Uh, and it really brings people out and brings people down to the river and into the city and uh, it's a great, great thing. And of course over here we got the Bengals Stadium, Paycor Stadium. Uh, you got a first place team right there and over here at Great American Ballpark with the Reds, you got a last place team, so that's fun. But yeah, I mean, like I said, a lot of history here. Um, you know, the dividing line between the North and the South and a free state and a slave state, and that has so much to do with the history of this area. And um, yeah, it's just really, really interesting to see. A lot, lot, of, lot of history here. And uh, if you're a history buff and a geography buff like me, it makes it really fun. Thanks for watching. Take care.